Heaven only knows, therefore, what's going on in this disturbing surrealist masterpiece. Eine kleine Nachtmusik, painted in New York in 1943 by Dorothea Tanning. Tanning was American. She was born in 1910 in Galesburg, Illinois, a quintessential small town. In Galesburg, Illinois, she later complained, nothing ever happened except the wallpaper. Her childhood was repressed and tedious, and it wasn't until she fetched up in New York and discovered surrealism that Dorothea Tanning found her real self. This is her with the cavalier top and the tendrils and that pet monster. Do you know, she's still alive, 101 years old. Whatever it was she took to get in touch with her subconscious should be sold in chemists. But she's never spelled out what her art's about, never really explained what's going on in these disturbing night fantasies of hers. Her masterpiece, Eine Kleine Nachtmusik, got its title from Mozart and its mood from a nightmare. We're in a hotel corridor by the staircase. Two young girls are on the landing. Or is it the same girl before and after? Or maybe one of them's a doll and the other one is real. The only thing we can be sure of is that all the little girls are Dorothea Tanning. The entire picture reeks of subconscious anxiety. That big sunflower at the top of the stairs is particularly sinister. Somehow you know it's a masculine presence because sunflowers are so tall and looming. Something dark is being remembered here some traumatic childhood encounter. These are mysteries from the deepest reaches of the feminine psyche, and I'm clearly not qualified to understand them. But I do know this is what the night brings out in art.